Hey you guys, it's Denise at My Luxury First and today I'm going to do a quick makeup tutorial. It's going to be a freestyle. I don't know exactly what I want to accomplish here, but I just want to look cute. So I have this palette that I bought off of eBay about two months ago. For the primer, I used Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I used that on my eyelids. And for my face, I used the e.l.f. Blemish Control. Um, face primer. I actually don't feel like primers do anything. I feel like it's a gimmick But since I've already bought those I'm just gonna use them until they run out So to start off with my eyeshadow, I am just going to use Any brush. I don't have those five six seven eight nine brushes. I don't play those games I'm just gonna use any brush and I'm gonna start off with this color that says that it's China white And that's gonna be my base for my eyelids Let's see if this is pigmented or not. And it seems to be pretty pigmented. I'm going to give it another coat on this side. And then we're going to do the other side. So basically, just use a white base or you can use China white. And I'm just using a base because supposedly that makes your next color pop. So that's the base. So for the color next, I'm going to use um, Rich Bitch because Rich Bitch seems like it's going to be popping. And so I really want to try that out. Rich Bitch seems to be sort of like a golden color. But kind of have like a... I guess it's just gold basically. Seems like a old gold color. So I'm just going to pile that on top of the white base that I had. So this rich bitch, it kind of seems like it's going to be a um, shimmer color, but then it kind of feels matte at the same time. So next we're going to go into the crease. I'm going to use Violence, which is the purple color. It's not super purple how, like how the purple looks on in the palette. It doesn't look like that, but it's still showing up. So I'm just in the transition section and crease section so then I'm going to wet my sponge or my wedge and I'm going to clean up this section right here and also clean up right here And then I'm going to take a black liner and put that on my eye line area. Under my brow, I'm going to go in with this one that says that it's called Princess, and it's kind of like a shimmer white color. So I want to use that and go right here and blend this together. I'm 
I'm going to do that on the other side. So then that part is basically done. So it's like a yellow and purple color, but when you mix it kind of with the white, it kind of turns pink. So it kind of like transitions itself. So then under the eye, I'm going to put on some concealer. I'm just going to use uh, my concealer palette that I have, which is this one. And I'm going to put this under my eye. I'm just using any color. Put a little on the pimple. And drag the rest over. And I'm going to get my new BB cream. And I'm going to put that on my wrist. This is the Black Radiance BB cream. Got that on my wrist. I'm going to use that as my foundation. Basically, it's going to be a light foundation and it's nude. So it's not even going to really show. So you just put that on your face. And it's basically just to blend help make everything look normal on your face since you've already been adding color to your face and now you need everything to blend. So you're using your wrist as a palette and you're just putting this on here and then you're going to get your kabuki brush and you're going to buff it in. In the middle you can pat it and then when you get to your eye section you're going to pat this out real quick before you start buffing. So we're going to pat just to like spread it a little bit. And also to get the under eye popping and get it ready for the highlight. If you want to highlight you don't have to highlight. But it also sets your, it makes your eyeshadow look better. Like when you have that line going. Well, to me, it makes it look better for me. Alright, so then I pat it for a while and I don't have time to keep patting like everybody else does. So I'm going to start buffing out. I feel like this already takes a long time and I don't need to be patting all day. You can use your kabuki brush under your eye and pat and like move it over so you're patting and moving at the same time but the whole object right now is to blend everything together So then for under your eye, we're going to put some Ben Nye. We're going to use our wedge. Put that under our eye real quick. And just let that sit there. You can also put some right here. Under the part where you're going to be bronzing at, not at the bronzing part. For me, I have an automatic bronzing right here with my just regular skin tone, so I put this right under that because I'm going to buff it all out anyway in a minute, but I just want to have the line popping. So while that's sitting there, then you get your darker um, makeup that you want to use for your bronzing, I guess, and to even out everything else that's going on, I'm going to use this MAC NC50. It's a pressed powder. And I'm going to use my brush that's already cinched. And I'm going to go right here and just go back and forth. And I'm going to do that on the other section, or the, on the other side. If you want, you can go down here and holler at your jawline, but it's not really necessary. Then you just want to get like a brush that you can just blend everything in. You might want to 
change one that's a little bit more powerful because this one's not working. There. Then for your under eye, just start sweeping right here. And that's basically how I do my makeup. Then I just brush everything else like that. And then if you want to get like a setting powder, that's more your color since everything else is all light. Then you take your setting powder and you put a little bit on your brush. This setting powder had a little bit of shimmer in it. And you can just sweep that over your face. So now my makeup is done basically. And I'll finish it off with some Ben Nye Final Seal. Huh. It just has a brown tint. It's the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. You just use any mascara, but this is the number seven, the purple one. I'm going to use this black duo because I'm going to wear some lashes today. Alright, so this basically this is how my hair is going to be today, and this is how I look after I'm done with my makeup. So, I hope you guys liked this tutorial, and if you have any questions or want to see something else, please let me know. How do you guys think it looks? Do you guys think it looks cute or not? That's the style. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.